Hi, my name is Brian Wood. I'm a master oyster gardener at my home in Reedville, and I'm going to show you the oysters that I have here and the oysters that I've been growing. These are called Taylor floats. You make them at your workshops. Toga has workshops. Reedville Fisherman Museum has a workshop where you build these floats, and they're made out of PVC and vinyl coated wire so they won't rust. And what you do is you start out with your oysters in bags, as you can see down here. The baby oysters go into smaller bags. And as they progress in size, you go to a larger mesh until you can let them go in the pots themselves. If you can see from in the cage here, there's natural strikes in this cage here. These are all shell put overboard. And you can see the clusters of oysters. This is about two years ago I did this. Uh, here's oysters coming out here, just coming out right out the bottom. Look how big that is. We have clusters here. And you can see the sponges, where the sponges grow. All, all the habitat that you get out of it. All along these bulkheads are baby oysters growing. Okay, this is a natural strike of oysters. This is with the string mussels and such. You can see how they cluster together. This is the way they do it in nature. And this is uh, an oyster shell or a rock that's been put down and they've, they've stuck to it. Now you can see some of the oysters have succumbed to disease. And these oysters probably here are probably about um, well, two and a half years old. As many pots as I have, uh, the cleaning and the maintenance takes about two days in the spring, two days in the fall that I take the pots up, clean them out. Not a lot of maintenance for what you get back and what the bay gets back. This is actually where it all starts filtering the bay with the worms, little crabs, little fishes. This is all habitat for them. This is what the bay has lost. So it's important to grow these oysters for filtering the bay. An oyster can grow, uh, filter up to 60 gallons of water a day, one, one oyster.